Hello, welcome back to the relaxation room. My name is Janie Barrett. I'm one of the core therapists here at Penny Braun. So this is one of a series of short videos aimed at just demonstrating simple everyday techniques that we can do to help support our well-being. In the introductory video, we looked at the changing breath. The changing breath is a really simple way of helping our body to steer away from the stress response into the relaxation response. And it's just simply about drawing the breath in through the nose, down into the abdominal area, holding it for a moment and then breathing out through the mouth. So we're going to start just by doing that again, just to help our body to find its equilibrium and just to really create this space for this, the next relaxation that we're going to be doing today. So if it helps, you can close your eyes, make yourself comfortable. It's not completely essential, but just helps you to focus a little bit. So I'm gonna close my eyes and just breathe gently in through the nose, all the way down into the abdominal area, holding it for a moment and then releasing the breath out through the mouth. So breathing in through the nose, all the way down into the abdominal area. And it may help to put one hand on your, on your tummy area and one hand on your chest. So you can just feel the rise and fall of your abdominal area. So breathing in through the nose, into the tummy area, hold it for a moment and then release the breath out through the nose. So we're going to do that one more time and it may help just to make a little sighing noise whenever you on your out breath so breathing in through the nose into the tummy area and then ah just really help your body to let go but the key with this with the breath is to make your out breath slightly longer than your in breath just to really help your body to let go and just remembering that every time you breathe in, you're bringing new oxygen to every cell in your body, helping your body to heal, to rejuvenate and to revitalize. And every time you breathe out, you're helping your body to let go. So we're going to continue today to look at the breath. And the breath is a wonderful means of helping us to find our equilibrium because we have it with us at all times. And it's something that we don't need to, we don't have to have a specific room to do it in. We just have to remember to use it, to use it, to utilize it. So today we're just going to do a very simple um, noticing the breath um, exercise or technique. So again, if you'd like to, you are welcome to close your eyes, make yourself comfortable. And we're just going to simply notice the breath as we breathe in and breathe out. So breathing in through the nose and just noticing the breath. Taking a moment to notice how the breath is as it enters your body. How does it feel? What sort of temperature is there on your breath? And just noticing, where does that breath go to? Where does it naturally travel to in your body? And then just allow the in-breath to turn into the out-breath. Just noticing how the out-breath feels. And just this very simple breathing, just taking note of our breath, breathing in and breathing out. And noticing the impact of this breath on your body as it enters and leaves your body. having a powerful impact physiologically, 
bringing the oxygen to every cell in the body, helping our heart rate to slow and having a powerful effect on our mind and our emotions. So just by using this really simple breathing exercise, which you can do at any time of the day, just simply focusing on your breath, noticing your breath. And you can do this for as many breaths as you like. It may help to count the breath, or you just may want to just, just notice the breath. Just breathing in and breathing out. And with this, you don't need to breathe out necessarily through the mouth, just breathing in and breathing out through the mouth. This next breathing exercise is looking at counting the breath. Counting of the breath is often used in mindfulness and meditation. So the breathing itself helps to regulate our nervous system and the counting engages our higher brain. And it's something that um, emergency services quite often use, something called box breathing, which is used in situations of trauma, uh, of fright, and it's simply breathing in for four, holding for four, and breathing out for four. And that can really help um, people, even people that have been faced with uh, extreme trauma, to move away from the stress response into the parasympathetic nervous system, into the relaxation response. So we're going to be doing something along similar lines to that, but we're going to be breathing in for three, holding for four, and breathing out for five, just so that your out breath is slightly longer than your in breath. Now, please just go at your own rate with this. If three, four, five doesn't feel right for you, you can do one, two, three, or two, three, four, or you may feel that you'd like to um, make it a little bit bigger and go into five, six, seven. But we're just going to try doing three, four, five, for today. So again, if it helps you to focus, just gently close your eyes and we're going to breathe in through the nose, two, three, hold, two, three, four, and then release through the mouth, two, three, four, one. And if it feels comfortable, just continuing to do this, breathing in, holding, and breathing out. And just bringing your focus back to the counting of the breath. Just gently counting inside your head, breathing in. Two, three, hold, two, three, four, breathing out, two, three, four, five, and breathing in, two, three, hold, two, three, four, and breathing out. We're going to do this five times in total. So breathing in, two, three, holding, two, three, four, and breathing out, two, three, four, five. One more time. Breathing in, counting the breath, holding. And then just take a couple of moments to notice how you're feeling. That's great. And like I say, those counts, just take them in your own way, in your own time, whatever feels right for you. And with all these things, there's no right or wrong. There's no perfect way of doing it. 
and they get simpler and simpler each time you practice as well. So just give yourself a smile, take thanks for taking this time out for yourself and hopefully see you again next week for the relaxation room.